All right, guys, we got you through date number one, and as promised, I bet you're locked in for date number two. You can thank me later. For now, we're back with some more fun that won't break the bank. Look, I don't know a lot about pool, but what I do know, I learned on one of my favorite dates. It was early on, maybe the second or third time hanging out with this guy. We were still trying to impress each other and definitely keep it sexy. If you're asking how this game is sexy, guys, how is it not sexy? It literally revolves around her holding hardwood sticks, playing with balls, and bend over the table while you give her some pointers. Playing pool is one of the best evening activities. If you're getting off work a little late, but you still want to make time for your new special lady, this is definitely ideal. Teaching your girl to play pool can quickly become one of the most playful and flirty experiences, leading to all types of fun for both of you. Trust me, I've been there. Now, a lot of women, including myself at one point, would say that we don't really like to play pool. It's mostly because either I don't know or I'm considering all those little things that you haven't even thought of. One, trying to impress you. Two, you're staring at me in all types of uncomfortable positions. And three, I'm trying to learn a new game all at the same time. So do what you can to make us feel at ease. Maybe a cold pitcher of beer. Really whatever it takes. All right, fellas, let's get down to business. Racking the balls. One of the first things, easiest things to learn in pool, right? Well, just in case, we're gonna go over it. So you start, number one, yellow at the top. From there, super easy. Two stripes, two solids, two stripes, two solids, two stripes, two solids, your last stripe, and the eight ball right in the middle. Easy as that. Okay, now that we have the balls all racked up, let's grab our stick. I already picked one out that I love, so I'm gonna check the tip. How you know if it's a good tip a little bit newer, is it still gonna be pretty flat on the top? One of the tricks that I was taught, which I thought was pretty cool, is just pull out a dollar bill, put it right around the tip and get it tight and just twist it around. That way if it's a little bit maybe rounded on the edge or the chalk is there, it's just gonna clean it up a little bit. Just remember the tip is the most important part. It just goes hand in hand with the cue ball. So it's gonna make or break your game. You wanna make sure that it's well taken care of. All right, let's go over a couple of bridges. The two most basic, open bridge, closed bridge, as I'm sure you know. The reason I'm here is to let you know when you're teaching your girl, keep in mind that what's comfortable for you, it might not work for us. So for example, I have smaller hands and I always have my nails done. So I like to have an open bridge. It's just more comfortable for me. This is a perfect opportunity for you to have some contact. So get in there, position your hand as needed, and just figure out what works for her. Open bridge, that's what I like. The closed bridge, it works too, but as you can see, it's just it's not as easy. Basically, just get her comfortable. She wants to be able to just slide the pole back and forth. The purpose of this date is to get to know one another in a casual, easygoing setting. It's a full date experience for a fraction of the cost. Just keep it simple, like this guy. All right, let's get some practice rounds in. Let her break and get a feel for the table. Remember guys, this is still just supposed to be fun. It's not about showing off or anyone always winning. But if she's a natural and she's kicking your ass, just be okay with it and hope that she'll make it up to you later. You got that pretty locked up. That one, that one's pretty locked up. If you both have game, make it interesting. Play for some drinks, or even better, play for some articles of clothing that you'll redeem later. Even if neither one of you are that good, it's okay. Can I show you some? Yeah. All right. Um, let's do this one. So put your hand like this, and then they got to look down the stick. There you go. Yeah. Now go. The best advice I can give you on this one, guys, just be you. Let your personality come through. Give her some compliments and keep her comfortable. By the end of this one, you'll probably know if you click or not, so you better make it count. Use these tips, up your pool game, and trust that the universe will reward you.